Our members have an awesome opportunity to take advantage of new headsets, uh, new sensors that come with the headsets, uh, augmented virtual reality and mixed reality headsets. But there's also a problem. We have a problem where there's great risk uh, to use these headsets and to see the possible, well, risks, consequences, and emerging consequences coming from them is something that we need to start talking about. So Responsible XR is about pushing the boundaries of what is possible. So on the one hand, we're seeing how these technologies are improving over time very quickly. And on the other hand, trying to understand how we can develop them, well, in a responsible manner, considering ethics, the consequences they have for their use in education and research, as well as the ways in which uh, we want to develop them to be more publicly value aligned. In this way, we have the ambition to foster more reflective practices, amplify member voices that are already having the Responsible XR discussion or something like it, and to sort of embody public values in all that we do. So in the context of XR and education and research, of course, the number one thing is uh, privacy concerns. So there's a lot of privacy concerns regarding the sensors. These sensors are able to pick up your pupil dilation, which means they could even understand your intention of what you're choosing on screen. It also means uh, understanding that you have a lot of uh, ways in which you move your body. That can be a privacy hazard as well. Um, it's very easy to know who is in the virtual experience, basically, uh, just from the privacy or the sensors on your face. Uh, on the other hand, there's also psychological and physiological exp experience. Um, people have a lot of nausea. People also worry about the ways in which this might impact their sight or their, uh, well, their bodies in the future. And these are all interesting discussions. Uh, but I think there's also harms to uh, the ways in which we see the future of education and research being how do we make sure that these are implemented in a way that benefit the students, their learning, benefit educators, and also help researchers do their research uh, in a way that is again aligned uh, with our expectations as people. Uh, also for researchers, uh, the very integrity of their work is at stake when we want to use XR uh, if it isn't used responsibly. Uh, it's vital for these educators and their researchers to be aware of uh, and proactive in addressing uh, these issues. What conversations are recorded, what aren't? Are the spaces that the students are in actually recorded, such as their living rooms or their personal spaces, or are they all at the university campus, for instance? And then we wonder, again, how is it going to uh, impact accessibility? So are all students able to be there with the headset on? Um, some won't, for sure. And this could also be due to costs, but also physiological responses to the device. For instance, some students can't wear the headset longer than a couple minutes without getting nauseous. This is very interesting. Uh, and regarding Responsible XR, it's again facilitating a discussion around what is important. Uh, how do we offer an accessible way of experiencing virtual worlds and virtual experiences? Uh, but also making sure that when we make those virtual experiences, they're in line with our own values. Um, that might mean, yeah, stricter privacy. It might mean not using headsets at all. Um, but it could also be a discussion on what is the future of the campus or the future of our, our XR worlds. Getting involved in Responsible XR is really important right now. Uh, we have a moment in time where, on the one hand, we're able to look at the world and say, hey, there's virtual experiences, how cool. And on the other hand, actually take action on what that means. So in a sense, uh, we see a moment in time where now is, the, now is the time to take action and say, we want to make sure that our future of this technology is, well, aligned via our public values, but also uh, yeah, tied to what it means to learn and what it means to actually engage in our educational systems. Um, now, what this means is that uh, by not sort of involving yourself in Responsible XR, you sort of, well, give up your voice uh, to say, hey, uh, I believe that you know privacy is important or I believe that well-being for students and learners and teachers is important. Um, and instead, you sort of give it up to what we see in a lot of cases, which is big tech. Um, now, big tech uh, is going to provide many people many opportunities, but it also is going to shape its own discussions and ecosystems around what it finds important. And we believe here that we can, with our members, do something bigger, do something better uh, than, big, than big tech in its own way. Uh, and that means uh, engaging with, well, our communities and asking what's important. Um, and what that means in the end is, again, hopefully a more responsible XR future.